High Level just released the amazing ability to respond back to Facebook and Instagram comments. And today I'm going to show you how to build an automation to do that. And I'm also going to show you how to build ads based off engagement. That's going to generate a little more business for you. So stay tuned and build along with us. So for all of you that don't know, this is actually one of the main abilities that a lot of ads are using in order to create massive engagement. So the way it would work is somebody goes in and you fill out a post, it gets a little popular. Maybe on that post, you're like, say, I'm giving away a free guide, comment the guide below and people will comment, people would like it and so forth and so on. And you would get massive engagement, send them the guide and it kind of creates a win-win, right? Now, what happens is you can have that ability of doing that inside a high level, which you could never do before. And what it's gonna do is giving you the ability of responding automatically back to comments and delivering whatever guide on top of creating massive engagement inside your posts. Now, we're also going to show you how to create an engagement ad that's going to boost a little bit of that and get you a little out there, which will hopefully generate a little more business for you. So this is going to be a little bit longer because there's a lot of moving parts, but build along all the way through because you're going to need to know every step of the way in order to get this ad completely up. Now, the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to go into my account and I'm going to build the automation first because we want to make sure we test it, right? We want to make sure that when I leave a comment that it's going to respond back and and then we're going to build it based on that. So I'm going to go over here. First thing you got to make sure you do is you go to settings, make sure in your integrations that your Facebook page that you want for this account is connected along with having your ad account connected, which ours is already here. Now it's blurred out on mine, but it won't be blurred out on yours, but this is technically what you have to do first. Right after that, we're going to hit the go back button. And the next thing you're going to do is you're going to want to either use a current post that you have or create one. Now for this particular situation, because I do want to change it into an ad, I made it more of like for people that were kind of tired of using other softwares and they want to use high level instead, I created an ad here that's basically a post. And my goal is that when people comment, I'm going to automatically send them a link. Now I literally did this now, so there's going to be absolutely no comments. So this will be the perfect testing ground, but this is an actual post in my Facebook business page. This will not work with your personal business pages or any page that's not connected to high level that you want to go through. Now, again, this is my business page and this is the one we're going to use. So I'm going to come from here. All right, I connected my page through Facebook. And again, very simple to do is just make sure you go to integrations, hit connect, make sure you connect the proper page, go and make a post of any sort just to kind of test it out. You can always go back and create another one later on. It really doesn't matter, but you're going to see how cool this is because it's going to pull it. I'm going to go into my lead magnet folder because this is again, going to be another lead magnet for me. I'm going to hit create and I'm going to start from scratch. And you guys know I'm crazy about the numbering system and just making sure that this is always going to say the right thing here. And I'm just going to delete all this here and it's going to be L 1.7. And this is going to be Facebook comment and we're giving away our free course, right? And by the way, you guys should have access to it. If not, just click on the link below inside this YouTube video and you'll be able to get it then. I'm going to come over here and now this is a cool new trigger. If I come over here and I type in Facebook, you're going to notice Facebook comments on post. Now I can also change it to Instagram, Instagram comments on post. How exciting is this? Now, again, this is going to be beta. They're working out the bug still. So if this thing's not firing all the time in the right way, again, it's in beta, but we want to get it out there for you guys first, because this is a great ad to run. I'm going to go ahead and connect on that and notice that it automatically goes page is I only have one page. This, the type post is definitely get posted custom. I really don't know because I don't know how to change the value of the custom, but we are going to do publish post. The post is hopefully it should find it. Let me just go through it right there. This is the post I literally just created. And you can also click on here and it views the post on Facebook. How cool is that? So you could always be sure about the one you want to do. Great. Now that that's said and done, I only want to track first level comments and the phrase that we chose is course. So I'm going to go ahead and add another filter contains phrase course. Okay. And I just want to make sure I can't add any other filters, right? No, the only thing that makes me a little nervous is what if somebody puts lowercase and uppercase, we're going to find out right now and we're going to go through it, right? I'm going to go ahead and hit save trigger. Okay. And now I'm going to come over here. I'm going to hit the little plus sign and I'm going to type in the word respond and you're going to notice, oh no, look at this respond to comments. So exciting. This is so freaking cool. So it's going to be awesome. I'm going to come over here and I should have their first name. So I'm going to do contact first name, I am so happy to hear you like our free course. Download it here. Also, check your DMs, okay? I'm gonna click on here, put a little asterisk, go find my link real quick. Okay, I found my link, I put it in there. I'm actually gonna change this up a little bit. I'm gonna, I'm so happy to hear you would like our free, okay? Drop that link again. 
And then the reason why I'm adding multiple responses is like, if you're using any other kind of software and you're doing any kind of comments, it's always best to kind of think, you know, switch things up a little bit because what you don't want is you don't want Facebook thinking that this is a robot just because it creates problems sometimes. So I'm going to create like three different responses of doing the same exact thing. So I'm going to pause while I do that real quick, but you want to at least have like three or four different responses just so that it also kind of looks different, has the lines kind of open up and especially for running ads to it. So then you can see it. So also notice that I hit like comments because I want to make sure that it immediately likes the comments after that. I'm going to go ahead and hit save action. And then the other cool thing that is really going to happen is, and this is why, again, I'm so thrilled about this is I'm also going to send him a DM with the same information. Now the DM part is even cooler because it introduces something called buttons inside of the interactive messages. And what that's going to do is not only are you going to be able to automatically respond, you're going to give them the ability of hitting certain buttons to do certain things. And again, I don't know technically if you're going to use it for this one, but the next step is we would wait like a couple seconds. All right. Like maybe possibly like a minute, not even save actions. And then we're going to do Facebook again, and you're going to have the interactive messenger and you're going to reply, comment via DM. And the DM is going to be again, here is the link to the course. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. I'm going to go ahead and hit save and we are going to give this thing a world. So I'm going to go actually to the post here and I'm going to say, well, actually, you know what? We said course with all capitals. This is the capital thing is the only thing that makes me a little nervous because I don't know whether or not it's going to be case sensitive, but let's just change this to case sensitive because I put all capitals. I'm going to go ahead and hit save, save again. And by the way, this will be the same exact format if you wanted to do Instagram. But again, we're just trying to see if we can get this to work. This is completely live. We're doing this. So I'm going to type in course. I'm going to hit enter. All right. Let's see if it does it. I did respond as myself. I should have changed that. So I made a mistake. I was in my business account. I actually got to switch this up. So I'm going to switch to my personal and I'm going to do it again. There we go. You're commenting. Perfect. This is exactly what I need to do. So I'm going to type in course. Make sure I didn't spell that wrong. Again, we were trying it live. So always a couple of uh, issues there. And again, I think that's what I copied. All right. I'm going to hit enter. It's posting. Give it a couple minutes. I'm going to pause to see if this fired. All right. So I got it to fire where it sent me a DM automatically from there. And again, if I click on that link, it goes to my free course. So that works wonders. But however, I was not able to get it to respond back inside the comment. It's obviously because there's some kind of user error. Let's see what it is. Message queued successfully. I added it to the workflow. I waited for the step message queued. So I don't know if, why it was queued. Respond to comment. Three comments. Oh, no, it did. I did. Awesome. And I'll call my name. So actually, I am not going to delete anything. It was just a little bit delayed. It was funny. The DM came before. Okay, so this works. And it liked it. You see, it liked the comment also. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an absolute game changer. I am so excited about this because this is going to make it where I can create an engaging ad and get this completely going. It's very, very exciting. You also saw that I had to comment as a different individual, not my own business page. So that's a good troubleshooting tip. But now, how do I take this and make it an ad? Well, the cool part of it is if you have ads going, right? You go to your ads manager. We'll go to a campaign. We're going to create a campaign, but I'm going to come in here. I'm going to hit an engagement ad. So again, all I did was I'm in my ads manager. I hit create. I'm going to do an engagement ad. I'm going to hit continue. And then it's going to be manual engagement selected for now. Hit continue again. It's going to be a free course. All right. And then no special added categories. We're going to look for more engagement. All right. We're just going to do an advantage budget of like 20 bucks. Right, because we're just going to test these out to see if this actually works because we had a little bugs before. I'm going to go ahead and hit next. It's going to be on your ad, the video views. It's going to be for post engagements. All right. Maximize engagement with the post. Absolutely. Cost per result, really not interested. Dates, we're just going to let this thing run. Audiences, it's not going to be worldwide. I do have audience suggestions. All right. We have an age set that we know, an age set that we like. All right. All genders is fine. And we are going to target funnels. I think it's Russell. I <laughs> love him. I'm Russell Brand, Russell Brunson. All right. Infusionsoft. All right. And a couple of other inches I'm going to add to make it as real as possible. For now, we'll just run it there. Placements, unfortunately, manual because we're going to go off of just Facebook. We're not going to do Instagram whatsoever. We're not going to do feeds because this is not marketplace. No, there's no videos. So Facebook feed. Oh, we might even do profile feed. And stream reels. We're going to turn all this off. All right, because it's strictly it's just going to be for the engagement of that, not stories, not reels. I'll eventually do a video of this and we'll kind of go through there. But the whole point is we just want to do that Facebook comment area, right? So I'm going to hit next, all right? And you're going to come over here, recourse post, and then it's going to be mostly on comment. 
All right, pick your Facebook page, make sure it's the right one. If we're gonna use an existing post, we're gonna come here and we're gonna select our post. Boom, hit continue. Boom, look at that, it looks like an ad already. All right, so we're gonna leave that. We're gonna have no other comment, we're gonna have no other books. Advantage Creative, that's fine. Oh, we don't want WhatsApp. I don't know why WhatsApp was there. Remove. It's gonna be comment below. All right. All right, we actually don't need to do any of that. Again, I'm just gonna test this out. So I'm gonna leave this as raw as humanly possible. For all the Facebook ad experts in here, please, you know, again, you got better advice, drop it in the comments in the YouTube channel. That's the whole point. So we grow as a community, but either or, I just wanna test this thing out to see if it works. I'm gonna come over here and hit publish. And I just want to see what happens. <laughs> I want to test this out for 20 bucks to see whether or not people will actually click on this or engage with the ad now that I have a way to interact and I can do the same thing. Now, going back to this automation, there was one little other thing that I wanted to show you that is pretty freaking cool. So if you come in here, this is the reply that's going to go into the DM. Now you can put in the free course here, like, you know, in my example and everything else, but here's a cool thing that we can do is add buttons. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give them a couple more choices, right? I wrote hey here's a link to free course please give us any feedback but i don't want this to just be another download i want to gift you even more tools to make it successful and everything else i come over here and i come in and this is going to be a 30-day free trial of high level okay and i mean you can go bananas whatever you want it's going to open up a website and i'm just going to grab that link real quick copy boom all right then i'm going to add another button this button is going to be free go high level course all right and again it's going to be open a website Okay, boom. And then the last one is gonna be, I just want someone to build and migrate me over to GHM. All right, that might be a little bit too big of a button. All right, and then it's gonna open a website and come in here, or we could send them a one-time calendar link. And this is gonna be to our actual funnel page with the website. Now, let's just go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna grab that link real quick. All right, I got my agency website, so I'm ready to rock and roll. So now what it'll do is it's gonna give three other choices when they hit that button. So I'll give them a quick little message. I updated, obviously. I came back in here. I added the three little buttons for them to do things right in there. So now that response will have the message and then three little buttons showing right after it. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit save action. And then I can have additional actions to that after they can go in there. I can give like a tag interested in GHL, right? So if I come over here, add a tag and I can put interest GHL, possible interest. I can just do like another add tag because this might be an agency client. So I'll come over here and then do interest agency or done for you, right? Tag. And then I can do another additional response and so forth and so on. But regardless of which, it's pretty cool. The fact that it does all this and again, opens up array of possibilities for you. I showed you how to do a quick and dirty Facebook ad. I also showed you how to do this entire like comment response. Remember, you can do this on Instagram. You can do this on Facebook. And on top of it, you can come over here and you can make a general. So it's all comments. And by just removing whichever post, this way, anytime somebody comments the word course and any instance or any post, this will automatically fire and go through. And I can do that for my lead magnet names, agency, whatever I want to do. But again, this is pretty solid. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. It's just showing you the power that this thing is becoming. You can probably get rid of some other softwares that are out there that were doing the same thing. And now you have another way to engage and interact with your customers. And that's your bottom line. So hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one.